and our video diary is a tale from the riverbank. I've never seen a kingfisher this close. It's such a fantastic little bird, it's so brightly coloured. This week's video diary is a tale from the riverbank. Countryfile viewer Rob Weaver is passionate about filming wildlife. It's something that takes a lot of patience, but he thinks it's worth it. This summer, he headed to the River Team in Worcestershire in search of some very special creatures. Well, when the sun's shining and the weather is as great as it is now, I like nothing more than to get down onto the riverbanks and look for the huge variety of wildlife that lives in these watery habitats. Well, the great thing about watching wildlife on the riverbanks is a different species associated with different parts of the river. For example, on this vegetation down here in front of me, damselflies, like this pair of common blues, will pair up and mate. And on the rocks at the water's edge, species like this banded damosel, this is a male, will do that characteristic wing dance. The river does no good, no harm. Tempts us like pilots to its car. But the real king of the river is a bit harder to track down. But one of the birds I'm really hoping to see is the kingfisher. It's a fantastic riverside bird and often seen as little more than a flash of blue and orange. But shallow, clear water like this, full of fish, is absolutely ideal habitat for them. But trying to work out where a kingfish is going to land isn't always easy. So you can cheat and make it a little bit easier. I'm going to set this stick up and hopefully it'll act as a good fishing perch. And with the fishing perch in position, it's just a case of putting the hide out and waiting. I've never seen a kingfisher this close. It's such a fantastic little bird, it's so brightly coloured. Seeing them this close is amazing. Fantastic, he's been joined by the female, and they're both there on the same branch. Now the male and female kingfisher actually look almost identical, and the only way you can tell them apart is that the female has got that orange lower mandible on her beak, whereas the male, and you can see there, has got a completely black beak. It's amazing watching him dive for these minnows. But this stream is absolutely full of fish, so it's a fantastic habitat for these kingfishers. At this time of year, they'll actually be feeding their second brood of chicks. The giveaway to telling how a kingfisher's got chicks is the way a fish is pointing when it's being caught. A kingfisher will always swallow a fish head first so the fins don't get caught in its throat. But you can see here, this male is holding the fish the other way round. That means he's getting ready to drop that off to one of his chicks so they can swallow it the right way round. Fantastic watching them fish. I could sit here and watch them fishing for hours. Well, in the faster, shallow sections, different species, like this female grey wagtail, are found. She'll spend her life dashing between the stones, finding small insects amongst the rocks, which she'll then take away to feed her chicks. These are birds that seem to live their life on overdrive. The grey wagtail never seems to stop moving. You can see how they get that name, that characteristic tail bobbing. At the other extreme, high up in the riverbanks, these sand martins have excavated their nesting tunnels and are busy catching the thousands of insects that congregate over the water at this time of year to feed their chicks. And they're one of the first migrants to arrive in the spring and one of the last to leave, which means there's plenty of time to see them on the riverbanks. You are with me. 
And our thanks to Rob Weaver for his video diary.